it's like if you have a potato in an Alienware PC, it will play better on the Alienware PC. That's that's what it should say. What are your options? It's like potato, washing machine, Alienware PC, and then it's just like Alienware PC will be the best, and then that would be an ad that I would agree with. I would be like, that is correct. Good work. You did it. What uh, what tech do we want to run today? I got some stuff to talk about, you guys. Some talking. I want to talk. I haven't done round trip in forever. Did I ever 60 this sexy son of a bitch? I don't know if I did. We could also do Dar the Flurry of Goblins. I hate goblins so much. Uh, we could do that as well. That's pretty fun. A lot of these are just. Oh yeah, I did make that he who hunts pile, didn't I? I got a lot of secrets you guys don't even know about. He Who Hunts is going to get a drastic change, actually. But that's uh, achievement hunting down there. I want to run round trip, even though I have to think a lot when I run this deck. But we'll, it'll be fine. It'll give us some time to sit together and think about life, the world, and the way things are. To do, to do, to do, to do. You know, I've, I've given it a lot of thought, and I... I know you guys have traveled a long way. No, we just won't parody a song from a movie that one-tenth of you guys were alive when it came out. No offense. <laughs> oh, shit. What are we doing? What are we doing? You know what? I want to take a minute. I want to talk to you guys because they're having this, this smashing sale. On, on on the 3DS, the Wii U, I guess. I don't know. Do you, do you have a Wii U? What's that like? What's that feel like to have a Wii U? What's that experience? I don't know. I had a Wii. I still have a Wii, actually. I bought all the peripherals. Man, I thought I was gonna... Man, I thought I was gonna play with a Wii. I was wrong. Uh, what the fuck is this garbage? Sure. This is great. I'm doing great. Did I take all the green out of this? What did I even do to this deck? Uh, so, I don't know. I guess Achievement Hunting will be the actual episode that we put up today. I got a really great suggestion from a sub, actually, that will make that deck run a lot better. At least be much more interesting. This is fucking just corn dick. I don't like this at all. Playing up against Red Blue, so that, that'll be fun. The Doom This Smashing Sale is 33% off a bunch of games, so this week is my weakness. This is the week that they were going to get me. I was staring at last week's selection, and I was like, this is going to be... This is going to be okay. I can weather the storm. I came really close, like super close, to buying a, a copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, for the e-digital... What the fuck do they call that? Virtual console, uh, which is just every console now. I came really close to doing that several times. Counter. Do it! That is so fucking dumb! <laughs> Land, fuck you! That's hilarious. What a stupid card to counter. I got lands for days, kid. I don't need your help. Kept him from think twice -ing. Kept him- Dude, I will eat a counter all day with that card. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you gonna stop this one too? Wall of Omens. Because I've literally got other Wall of Omens. Dude, you are hilariously bad. Okay, I've got Wall of Omens that can attack. Do you have Shock? Ha! Oh my god, do you hate cards? Are you serious right now? Your turn. Jesus Christ. This guy's just blown his load all over. He's like, oh! Mm, oh god! Oh, here, oh, oh, hold on, I'm the mastermind. Bullshit, you got that title. You paid somebody. Did it in the uh, campaign. Main phase. You gotta get those other counters, right? Because you blew your load too early? Got to. Dub C. I won't land for turn. I don't need to land for turn. But I can point at you, my friend. So it came really close, but this time, now... They've got all the, uh, they've got just a shit ton of, they've got Mega Man games. You know how I am with my Mega Man games. Like, I need my Mega Man games. He's still got the counter money open, but I'm going to seance because he doesn't have it anymore because he blew them. 
dude, you're not good at this game. I'm gonna give you a little tip. Just quit. Just give up. Cause you you don't have it. Uh I'll do Elvish Visionary times two. Oh man, you don't you don't have it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Huh <sighs> Your turn. It's still going to be a bitch, though, because he's got this guy out there, which sucks. What's he getting back? Shock? Please shock the one that dies anyway. The Dissolve. Oh, look at you. It's tricky. Whew, this guy's got it now. He's got it going on. I get two more. I get three cards at the start of this turn. Seance going to sack out one of those guys. He's going to say goodbye. Wall of Omens. Yes, please. Strong cards, strong cards, vapor snag. Look at me go. Um, forest. I mean, this does kind of suck. Doubling season. Wall of omens. Oh, your turn. I mean, this is a pretty good setup here. Voyage's End. Just what? Sure. Because then I'll have a ton of stuff to choose from with the Seance. No. I guess I'll get my, uh... My demon? Oh, no, I'll get Grizzlebrand if that's cool with you. I'll go ahead and grab the Grizzlebrand out of there and just have, like, five copies of Grizzlebrand. That seems like a good call. But that's on my turn. I gotta wait a minute for that to be on my turn. But you're you're fine. You're fine. I'll just have... It's a legendary, so never mind. I'll get the Runescarred Demon. I'll get the Runescarred Demon. Never mind. Got 26 in hand... Do I have any removal for that thing? For this friggin' 2-2 uh, two -two over there? Because that's what I need to worry about. <sighs> One of them. <laughs> what is happening? Rune Scar Demon. Cancel it. You can't. Holy shit. Oh god damn. Um yeah, I'll get I'll get a copy of that. That seems fine. Yeah, I'll see you later. It's cause you can't play the game, dude. Like, don't even be angry about that. I'm gonna cancel these cards for no reason. I'm good. Um Sure, cause I wanna get rid of the tutu. I mean, does it even does it even matter anymore? Like I I win here, you guys. I win here. Uh, I mean, I guess I get a Pelica Worm so that if they counter it, I can just fucking blast on through. Forest. Uh, so that I can play this Pelica Worm. So that it gets countered. So that I can get five Pelica Worms. Oh my god, computer, you're as bad as the guy I just beat. Terrible. I got 21 card. I'm going to deck myself, though. That's what's going to be hilarious. Uh, do I just attack with these? No, they're all blocked. Fine. Can you block all my six sixes? My three six sixes that I have in the air? Uh, fog? Because who needs to block when you're me? And, uh, this turn we'll just get Pelican Worm times four? Yeah, please. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. What even, did the game just fucking break? <laughs> and it's his turn. That's the best thing. Is it's not even my turn that this all happened on. You get one of them goes away though. You're right. One of them goes away. You're a winner. A winner is you. Um. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Oh wait, it's it's only less than. What do I even get here? Because I don't even really want to draw the cards. You know what? Eh. You're good. You're good. You're good, kid. I'll play this. I'll play this Banisher Priest just to eat this 2-2. Two -two. 
Cancel. Yep. Nice going. Because now I get to get red. Oh, wait. Whoa. Hold on. I literally can only rescue from the underworld the 04, though, which is hilarious, too. Oh, yeah. A bunch of shit's going on now, though. Damn it. I was really hoping that they get the Banisher Priest. Now I have to kill the Banisher Priest myself. Eat these tutus. Because I can eat all the tutus. If I do this right. So that's gone. Uh, now I'm going to attack and see what we can get going on here. I'm going to take everybody. I'm a 45 life, you guys. 45 life is a lot of life. Anyway, so they've got all these Mega Man games out, which is just insane to me. Because Mega Man games for days, you guys. Mega Man games for days. You know I'm all about the Mega Mans. And, uh... I mean, I'll just kill this guy now. So I can get my one copy of Grizzlebrand counter i mean it, it doesn't matter all right and that way i'll eat both your guys because i can say on him right now and then i don't get hit for anything banish your priest sure i think it'll still go off where i get my grizzle brand but i'm actually not positive but who the hell cares okay so the one on the far right is the one that goes away again i think i mean none, none of it matters nothing matters at all Keep your counters open if you're playing the counter deck, you guys. Don't counter a 1-1 one -one that does nothing. It's just going to be my advice to you. I shouldn't have been that mean to this guy. I know I shouldn't be that mean to this guy, but it's just like I felt so jazzed. It's not often that somebody's just like, here, could you beat me real quick? Could you utterly just crush me in everything I am? And uh, I think it was the one on the far right. I'm not sure. No, god damn it. So that didn't work because I took the other target away. Unless Seance is going off first, which doesn't make sense. Yep, okay, so it did work. So now I got Grizzle Beats out, got Rune Scar Demon out. What's this guy at? Five? I'm just going to go ahead and kill him, if that's okay. I think that's a pretty good call. That was insane. That was absolutely the craziest match I've ever had in my entire life. Like, that was... I shouldn't have got that way at all. That guy, sh it should never have come to that by any means. But he had a bunch of, he thought he could recur it a bunch. So he blew his counters way too early. But you can't, you cannot do that, you guys. I might go back through this. Because I hope I wasn't too mean to him. But I was just caught up in the moment. I've never seen something like that before in my life. Just opportunities that insane don't come up very often when you're playing this game so uh it's pretty rad this guy's mulling down to six i think i'm gonna get another win here they also have oracle of ages and oracle of seasons which are my two i know this is probably crazy to say because stuff like minish cap and then the brand new one just came out um link between worlds but oracle of ages oracle of seasons probably my two favorite uh, I don't know why Fog's in Like, I think I was just dicking around with this for a while, trying to come up with really obnoxious builds. And uh, I think I changed the build a lot from what the 60 was, but it's still it's still pretty fun. Your turn. Um, Fog's will get you through that early game, too, perhaps, and get you that one turn, because it's only one mana. And in this deck, an extra turn could mean everything, because I could have four Pelican Worms out on the field. If you give me enough time. This guy's gaining a lot of life now, which is kind of lame. <sighs> Another one of those. I don't like that. I might not like it as many as I put in. I don't think I like how many I put in. Wayfinder is going to get me a Orzhov Guildgate. I'm going to play Orzhov Guildgate. Say go. This is unfortunate. I would probably block this 2-1 with my 1-1 just to kill it. Just to get it got. Anyway, I think they're just going to get me. I think they're going to get me. I think I'm going to end up buying Ages and Seasons. But my question is, and I could probably just get this by reading the uh, description or whatever. My question is... Let's go for it. Does it have the, the cross stuff? Because when I bought the, you know, the GBA carts, right? They were GBA carts or were they just Game Boy Color? Oh, man. They might have just been Game Boy Color now that I think about it. Because there was like a dungeon that you could do between the two. This guy is playing better than the other guy. 
Um, so now we're, you know, strongly, steadfastly going to believe that he has a counter. So he could just be tricking me, pretending to have the counter, which is also a pretty hilarious play. Um, either way, I like where this guy's coming from. So I don't know. I, I really want to pick... What's this bird do? Oh, just a really expensive flying card. That's weird. It's really weird. I still can't do anything with Rescue from the Underworld, which sucks. I can banish your priest, this stupid flyer, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I'll do that. Eat this flyer. Get in my belly. Rum, rum, rum. Do they have that stuff in the uh, virtual console ports of these games? Like owning both, does that do they work together? I don't know. I could probably I need to Google it probably because I don't even think anything would be in the actual game about it. You know what I mean, or in the description. Uh, but I'll have to check that out. I was just looking at the email seconds before I started recording, and I was like, that's really interesting. I'll do like a little rant episode about that. Just have a little bit of fun since it's been such a weird week. And then the other thing is that I've gotten kind of into um, editing and looking at and, and just very cursory getting into... I mean, there's no reason not for me to block. I mean, the guy's going to gain life, go to 19, but there's no reason for me to not block this. I might as well not go to 18 if my opponent's going to go to 19, but this does kind of suck. I wish something better was in the yard, but he's got a cancel open, so I also don't like that. But I really only have the necromancers and stuff in the in the chamber. Uh, we'll see what we can do with the assistant. Hopefully he'll get something else out. This guy will not counter this assistant. That'd be super weird. Assistant will hit for sure. Yeah. Fog would be nice. He's not doing a hurt and heal thing though because he's not white. I'm talking way more about this game than I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be focusing on other stuff. Ooh, I like the Runescar Demon. What would Runescar Demon get me in this instance, though? <laughs> Fuck it, actually. If I can kill one of these guys, so much the better. Because other otherwise, I'm just going to be getting attacked for four. I'm going to have to take, yeah. I mean, it sucks because he's going to gain all the life back anyway. Uh, so I might as well. What's he get back if I kill the board, the Moon Heron? So Banisher Priest really is in there just to get the tokens and, and eat other tokens and stuff like that. and Try and get rid of stuff that way. He's trying to lay a land here to keep his counter open. And he did that successfully. Uh, every counter is available. The creature counter, he does not have a creature counter open without two blue out, though. So if I drew a creature, I'd be pretty radical, but... Otherwise, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Three, four, five. It can do five damage here. There's a chance that I'll unsummon one of my guys and I'll be able to do a Rescue from the Underworld play. That's interesting. I mean, it's not really something that I'm interested in doing just yet because I'll get this, what is it, a 2-3 three or 3-2 three, flyer back? Uh, that really doesn't taste good in my mouth. So I'm not going to do that. But the attack seven seems okay to me since he's only gaining four back. But, you know, he's... Pretty much staying at a constant state of equilibrium. Like I said, if I had a... I mean, it sucks, because if he hadn't found that land, I would have been in really good shape to get this Runescar Demon out. Runescar Demon would have got me... I don't even really know what Runescar Demon would get me right now, though. I would have to look in the pile, and that's never what you want to do. I let him untap, because I'd rather just have him tapped down completely. Mind Rot... I just get rid of Fog. Uh, planner Cleansing, actually. I don't need a Planner Cleansing right now. And uh, Fog. I still have one Fog and uh, Rescue from the Underworld. Tap that down. That's radical. Because now I can get my Demon back and I'll draw a card from my uh, O4. Get rid of this other Fog. Cards that I do not need. What are cards that I do not need for 200, Alex? Anyway, so I've been getting into, like, uh, editing a little bit of pixel art. Getting into that. It's just crazy. It's crazy. We live in such an awesome time where you can just learn anything you want to learn. And it's not super difficult. Uh, it's just it's kind of a great time to 
I don't know, with the internet and everything, it's just kind of a, I don't want to say a great time to be alive because that's really lame to say. Uh, so whatever I get, I can just play here. So I need to get something good so I can just play it. So I'm kind of feeling just the Pelica Worm. But I could also just get the other demon. Because that seems okay to me. Let's attack with everybody, actually. If he wants this blue guy back, he can go ahead and kill his flyer. Trade. I mean, that's the play for him, though, because he's trading out a weaker creature for a bigger creature. But I do 5 damage to him and take him to 13, so that's kind of where I'm at. As far as life is concerned. So, I was right about the mana here, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, yeah. This is my only opportunity to get this other Rinscar Demon out. We might not be using the deck's main draw this game. We might just be doing stuff like this. So, uh, at this point, I really kind of just want to grab the Pelica Worm. Pelica Worm's real good. So I think I will. What do I have out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I draw another mana, I could do Pelica Worm and Elvish Visionary all at once, which would be pretty nice. I could also have got the uh, my Trample Flyer, considering the mana I had in hand, but that draws me cards. But I don't think, like, whatever I have, I don't think it's getting played anytime soon anyway, so... Not that big of a deal. We were, we were able to pressure him into not attacking that step, which is what we were waiting for as well. I mean, it's just crazy, like, because I, I want to learn photography, and I was thinking about it, like, you can just do that online. Like, I want to learn better photography. I've been teaching myself photography tips and stuff like that for a long time. That's how I do the reviews on the other channel. That's how I do a lot of my stuff. Um... But it's just a great time period where you can, I mean, you, what do you do? Yeah, you nullify this, but to what end? Like, is that even a good play? No, not really. You can nullify this too, but it's just like, I have a Pelica Worm in hand. Those are obviously not what I got, but I've got 12 damage on, the, I've got 13 damage on the board in something that I tutored in my hand. So you've got to be terrified. You can't really let me play anything else. Now... If, I'm, if I, I was a betting man, I would say that this particular opponent has the other counter open. Because it seems like a pretty good opponent. But even then, what is this guy hoping to accomplish? That's kind of what I'm saying. Uh, it's a difficult spot, for sure. And I'll attack with everybody. Because uh, chances are I'll do 7 damage here. Or he bounces something. Even if he bounces it to my hand, I generate value no matter what. So he just took the damage. A fair point. I mean, I had, you, I had you when you tap down completely and I got a free play. Being able to get both those demons was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. That was really what turned that around. I don't know. I just want to do a little rant episode, I guess, about buying stuff on the eShop. Maybe one of you guys can help me out with that Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons thing. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just excited because... You can learn how to do pixel art. You can, there's YouTube, there's there's stuff like lynda.com, which I don't personally use, but like that's the legit thing, right? Like that's the thing legit people do to learn stuff. But it's just a good time to be fucking around and, and learning stuff because we can learn anything. Like we have the resources. We're so goddamn lucky. Like we have the resources and the ability to learn anything we can learn different languages we can learn instruments we can like i taught myself how to play the guitar several years back like that's how i know how to play the guitar it was the internet and fucking just like a, one guy in particular who i cannot remember at all or else i'd link him in the description one of the best tutors on the internet in in terms of guitar playing just a great guy because it's really hard to explain don't snicker kids we're adults here to explain the fingering over the internet it's really difficult to get a feel for that but this guy just had a really great way of explaining how to play the neck of the guitar how to actually handle it and uh all the kind of advanced techniques and stuff this, this guy was fantastic he really helped me um out quite a bit didn't even never had to go to a lesson in person never had to pay i mean i'm atrocious at the guitar so i don't know if this is really a 
uh, it might be a scathing indictment rather than kind of like, hey, this is an awesome thing you can do. But, you know, whatever. It's it's just awesome that we're so lucky that we can learn languages. We can do all sorts of stuff. There's tons and tons of shit that you can go out and do. And that's kind of the basis for this channel. I just taught myself how to do everything I do on the channel, the green screen, all the work that I do on Technovolver is completely just bullshitted. <laughs> so... Whatever, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hey, check out the Technovolver channel and stay tuned to this channel because we've been talking... Speaking of learning things, we've been talking about fighting games for a while. I have an episode of something filmed. And if the more stock I mean, the more astute among you may have noticed that I made a recent Steam purchase due to a sale item uh, that is fully recordable, really easy to record, and... Um, as a result, I'm going down that fighting game rabbit hole in a segment on Technovolver that I'm going to call... I, I came up with it in the video. I'll just let you see the video. Uh, so check that out. That's going to be going on. I'm going to post one episode here, that first episode here, just to kind of whet you guys' appetite. But that will be exclusive to my Technovolver channel. So subscribe to that. I mean, it's definitely not going to hurt you. Um, if you hate iOS reviews, then once every two weeks, you'll just be filled with rage when you look in your feed. But other than that, because uh, I keep plugging away at the iOS reviews too, it's just something to keep me sharp. It's just something that I enjoy doing. But whatever, you guys. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to buy Mega Man again. It's like the ninth time I've purchased Mega Man. I don't know why I keep giving them money. <laughs> Uh, and I'm probably gonna buy Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I fucking love those games. Um, I don't know. Thanks a lot, you guys, uh, for watching this episode. I appreciate when you guys hang out with me to just, I don't know, stumble around words. But that also, that other game was insane. God damn, that was crazy. That first game was insane. I've never had anybody let me whoop their ass like that before. Uh, good times. I'll see you guys later today. Another episode will be going up, maybe a little bit more serious. Um, maybe I'll just be talking in that one too. Who the hell knows? But uh, I feel like if I put two episodes up, I can do whatever I want, which I shouldn't. I can do whatever the fuck I want anyway because it's my channel. But I don't take that mentality. I always want to put stuff up that you guys really enjoy. Oh, also there's like a ton of the solo campaign that I recorded already that I completely goddamn forgot that I had on the computer. So I'm editing and uploading those as we speak. So... Stay tuned for those as well. Uh, see you guys later.